Patterson a real contender, furthest fastest in season two. Blitz through the heats and threw down the gauntlet to Ashlyn Herbert saying, beat that if you can. And guess what Ashlyn did? Ashlyn was also furthest fastest in last night's semi-final. Can Rob achieve the same tonight? Yeah, I'm putting my money on it. I'm saying yes. This bloke's got it. Straight through the archer steps. There's girlfriend Tamara backing him all the way. Onto the rolling log. And the time to beat in tonight's semi-final is 3.49. Rolling log is done. He was the best in the country last year out of thousands that applied. Robot Rob Patterson, the software engineer. And now, over the razor's edge. Yeah, just like that. He's already 20 seconds faster than Jordan. Here he comes onto the ring toss. Saying he's got Mount Midori armor in his sights. That's a long way away. That is a long way away. Make sure you get into the grand final first. I have no doubt this is our most successful ninja of 2018. And look at him, just effortless. Yes. Looking good on the course so far now, though. And all of the top performers will be watching this run, including Flashlin Ashlin. Yes, oh, how Rob. quick's the transition? Look at his focus. We've seen how dangerous this bar hop is tonight. Nice and carefully. On the fixed bar in the middle now, just reaching for that second one. Every time a ninja goes for it, you just see it moving. But that's no problem for this fella. As he comes down now, he's just going to attack the walk wall straight up there. There he goes. Yep, he's up in the heat. He didn't go the mega walk wall. He wanted to beat Ashland's time. And he was saving his body for tonight. He's here for the long game. Let's see how he attacks a salmon ladder. Is he going to do what so many ninjas have done? Just take a little bit of a breather and regain his composure. Oh, no, he's going straight into it. 1.45 on the clock. One. Two. Three. Three. Onto the flying shelf. He knows his body so well. And he's able to do the things quickly that he doesn't worry about too much and then slow down when he needs a breather. And when you're up close to Rob Patterson, he is so light and he's so lean. There's not much of him, but he is so agile, isn't he? He's got the perfect body for this. This is a quick time. Yeah, quick's an understatement. In fact, just like that, he's got the fastest time tonight by 35 seconds. Looks like he is the one to beat. You know what? It's really just a pleasure to watch this guy because we are in awe of how he's beating every single obstacle. And to this point, Ben, he has not put a foot wrong on this course tonight. And it's a big reminder to Ashlyn Herbert just what he will be up against in the grand final. And he'll be aware that Ashlyn really struggled on the invisible ladder last night. Using them arms, using them legs, three metres. We said before, if you go fast, you can gas. Even this is testing the champ from last year. He's halfway up the invisible ladder. Oh, what's happening here, Beck? He might just be struggling a little bit. Come on, Rob. This is about how much are you going to give? How much do you want it? What does it mean to get to the top and press that buzzer? Come on, Rob Patterson. You can see at the moment, every reach is a struggle. And this is exactly where Ashton got stuck last night, but he pushed through. We just saw Corey push through. Where's your money, Australia? Can he do it? And he decides enough's enough. And I just wonder, Ben, if he didn't want to push his body knowing he had done enough to make the grand final. Yeah, that's a good point. He might have realised how taxing the invisible ladder is. And rather than showing Ashlyn what he's up against and forcing the climb, he's called it at the five metre mark. 